Now, one of the things we asked was also what what you found the most annoying about each other on set. Oh, we asked. I think she's still very <laughs> hyper. You know, she's very hyper, and uh, uh, which can get to you because you know she's if things are not going the way she wants or desires or things is the correct way, uh, like she thinks what she thinks is the end. Like there's nothing beyond what she thinks. So it's very hard sometimes to convince her. Okay, no, listen, that person is knows what they're doing. They're a professional in their field. This is what they know. You know, you have to sometimes explain it to her. I disagree with that statement politely, of course. You are not shall, like this. But we shall. You are not like this. I'm not like this. But we shall. Pol we shall politely move on from that. And um, I don't think there's anything annoying about her on set. Okay. All right. The other th Nothing annoying <laughs> thing about her on set is when you are trying to really, you know, channelize the actor within you <laughs> and really getting into the method of it. She'll be sitting on a chair like this and be like, "Hmm, Brando is at work. Do not disturb him." So, Mr. De Niro, Where what do we have on the menu today? <laughs> Are you going to give the best shot ever? She says such things. I love it. You know, do you believe that? Yes. Why? I swear on this film, she does <laughs> that. And we have a making video, which oh, well I, will, I, will, I will give out soon. So Yogi, give us that making video of the first day of shoot, where she was calling me Brando and De Niro and all those things. He's not scared of you. <laughs> At least but she's not calling you the nutty professor or eyes. something. At least I, she's not I, calling you. No, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah. And eventually then what happened is, uh, because I had to get back to her and, you know, I have to say something, then I started directing her. Then through the film, I used to direct her. So from Brando, I became Nolan and Scorsese. <laughs> and then what happens is that sometimes she used to trust me and she used to do the, you know, the thing that was asked and then Dada used to fire her, <laughs> saying that, what are you doing? <laughs> But uh, the, I guess another good part about her, she, she never told on me then. She never said ki he told me. That's you very know, nice. She took the blame. Nice, good on you. That's sporting spirit. Yeah. I'm a very sporting person. Yeah. Finally, just the weirdest thing that happened on set. He has already listed that there were several of them. Please leave us with something absolutely glorious and strange. Jumping out of planes, drowning on rafts, the lion skin allergy, which we didn't know was a thing. Um, no, I would probably say, say riding the ostriches tops the list. Yes. Yeah. Is, it's is just it an unusual ride? thing yeah. to do. It's no. It's not a smooth it's ride. It's not a smooth ride. And especially when Katrina sat on the ostrich, that guy went mad. <laughs> and Katrina they? started screaming. It was <laughs> oh, no. funny at the same time. I felt protective. Yeah, I should help her. <laughs> but It's not <laughs> an animal that I think maybe wants to be ridden very much. <laughs> yeah. Maybe should stick to horses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, anything bizarre that I could think of, uh, you know, we really lost. But, but my outstanding work moment, like, you know, while the camera was rolling on this film in the last three years, will be and will always be, there's a song in the film called Question Mark. Okay, and there's the singer, of course, is, has nicely sung where Ranbir's character asks my character, Shruti, that is like, you know, question mark, and then says whatever the question is. And uh, Ranbir just does it in a very um, nice way. It's very memorable. <laughs> it's very, very uh, so, warming. So, because I'm lip syncing, and I believe that for the audience to believe that it's my voice, I have to pretend like I'm really singing. Mm -hmm. So what the audience sees is not what actually people on set are seeing or witnessing, mm -hmm. is me screaming my lungs out while I'm singing. So if the song is question mark, but now I can't do question nice. mark because it's, hmm. uh, you know, and it seemed like I'm faking it. So I used to go, question mark! Just like that. And I was right here. <laughs> so this came about, this particular tone in this particular volume came about um, 55 times over the space of, say, three months.